Foot Phantom Back, Foot Ulcer Debridement Part 1. Here we go. As requested, there would be a few videos on how to debride a wound. This is a Wagner grade 2 type ulcer on the bottom of the foot, on the top of the foot. As you can see, there is no redness, no erythema, no signs of infection. This is one of the main tools that I will be using, which is a tissue nipper, also a number 15 blade as well, and a curette. There is a loose amount of tissue around this ulceration, which I will slowly but surely remove utilizing these tissue nippers, trying not to damage healthy appearing tissue. What I do is push underneath, lift upwards, separating from the good tissue and working my way around the wound. As mentioned before, care is taken not to damage healthy appearing tissue. I slowly go underneath, push upwards to separate the tissue. Sometimes you can feel as you go around loose tissue which is also debrided. There is an area of hyperkeratotic tissue noted on the plantar medial aspect of the wound. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Here utilizing a number 15 blade I make my way around the open wound. You have to be very careful of course because you have a blade here you can use pickups and if it's really loose you can also uh, utilize your fingers which I do not recommend. Um, here I have pressed on the wound before and I could feel that there's a thicker area of skin here. I make my way around. I can see additional loose tissue which I am separating here. The reason you want to separate out this tissue and not allow any bacteria to collect underneath this uh, pocket of loose skin and the skin close above it which will increase bacterial load and eventually will result in an abscess. Here removing the remainder of non-viable skin and now you can see this bile film on the surface of the wound which you want to debride to red granular tissue. Uh, this initiates the inflammatory cascade which will also assist with wound healing as well. You just want to remove enough tissue to red granular appearing tissue around the entire open wound. Each physician uh, does this differently and uses different instrumentation. And of course utilizing goggles is uh, very important as blood may splash. Now let's briefly go over how to dress this wound. Uh, you can see this wound is red and granular, no signs of infection. I like to utilize a collagen type dressing which will be changed uh, three times a week. Also because this is on the plantar aspect of the foot, it is best to utilize offloading devices such as a wound care shoe, total contact cast, or a cam walker. As mentioned in other videos, offloading is of utmost importance. If you like this video and you want to see more, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Also, leave a like. Foot Phantom out. Foot See, Phantom you out. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon.